I'm going to create my first job in the Jenkins freestyle project. Click on OK. When I'm creating this project from where it has to download the code, where it has to deploy the code, all these steps we are going to configure in the Jenkins. See here, I'm going to uh, create the project now. I mean, I'm going to create the job in the Jenkins. Create a job. When I select create job, it is asking name of the job. I'm giving my first job. I'm giving it as my first job. Select freestyle project. Click on OK. OK. This is my first project. This is my first project. Source code management. Source code management. Where is the project? Project is available in the GitHub. Na? Select the Git option. Give the repository URL. This is my project repository URL. Copy this. Copy this repository URL and give here repository URL. If it is a public repository, no need to give the credentials. If it is a private repository, we need to give the credential. My repository is a public repository. Anybody can access. Okay. Now I'm giving the repository URL. No need to give the credential. In the repository, can you see the branch name? My branch name is a master. If your branch name is different, you need to configure the branch name correctly. My branch name is a master. No problem. Then build trigger. Trigger build remotely or trigger build periodically. Trigger the build. When you want to execute the build, that is, you can configure as a build trigger. I'm not selecting anything. Build environment. Delete the workspace before build start. Previous builds I want to delete. Build step. How you want to do the build? Execute Maven goal. Maven version. Select the Maven which we have configured in the global tool. In the global tool, I configured as a Maven. Then goals. I want to execute clean package. I want to execute the goal as a clean package. Okay. So with this, Maven project will be packaged. Maven project will be packaged. It will create a war file. After creating the war file, I want to deploy. That is post build action. So general section, a description, source code management. From where it has to take the code, I'm giving the repository URL. Build trigger. When this job should execute, I'm not giving anything. Build environment. Delete the old builds. Build step. Execute the Maven goal. Clean package goals it has to execute. Post build action. After war file is created, what do you want to do? I want to deploy the war to Tomcat. Deploy the war file to Tomcat. This is called post build action. This is my post build action. Click on post build action. What do you want to do as a post build? Deploy the war file to a container. In the post build action, I'm selecting an option called deploy war file to a container. So what is the war file? What is the name of the war file? My war file will be available inside the target folder. Target slash star dot war. So inside the target, whatever the war file is available, I want to deploy the war file to the server. What is the context path? I'm giving context path as Maven web app name of the project. War file, where the war file? War file will be available inside the target folder. War file will be available inside the target folder. Okay. Context path, container. Deploy the project to container. Which container? I am having Tomcat 9.x. So select Tomcat 9.x. Credentials of the Tomcat. So to deploy the project to the Tomcat, Tomcat credentials, Tomcat URL I have to configure. Add the Tomcat credentials. My Tomcat credentials are admin, admin. Admin, admin is the credentials of my Tomcat. I'm going to configure Tomcat credentials. Add them. Select it. These are the Tomcat credentials. Tomcat URL. Where is the Tomcat server running? Tomcat server running in the cloud. Take the URL of the Tomcat and configure that URL. This is my Tomcat URL. Na? Take this URL. Give the Tomcat URL in the Jenkins. That's it. That's it. See the options I have given. I am creating a first job in the Jenkins to automate the build and deployment. This is my first project. Source code management I'm giving as a Git repository URL. It is a public Git repository. No need to give the credentials. Build triggers. I'm not giving anything for build trigger. I will tell you what is that build trigger, how to give it. Then build environment. Delete the workspace before build starts. Build step. I'm asking the Maven to build. Maven I installed as a global tool. I'm selecting the Maven. 
then i'm giving the goals to execute clean package package goal will create the project as a war file post build action i'm telling the map jenkins to deploy the war file to tomcat deploy the war file to a container this is the location where the war file will be available context path tomcat server tomcat credentials tomcat url apply save with this my jenkins job is created but they have not executed that job i have not executed that job go to tomcat server can you see in the tomcat is our application is available or our application is not available application is not available in the tomcat who will deploy the application to tomcat now jenkins when jenkins will do the deployment i need to run the job my job is created my first job is created when i click on this job there is option called build now when i click on build now that has to take the code from the github that has to package the code by using maven that has to deploy the war file into tomcat it has to perform these three steps now go to jenkins and click on build now i have clicked on build now you see my job one is executing build number one right side left side can you see build number one is executing okay click on that build number see the console output how the build is happening it is showing the details okay guys can you see my build success deployment deployed the war file to tomcat finished success go to tomcat and refresh can you see my maven application deployed in the tomcat okay now can i show you real ci cd in the jenkins in the jenkins let me go to the jenkins here let me take the code so i see here currently what is the output you are getting welcome to ashok it best software training institute learn here lead anywhere content is there content is there let me go to github let me modify the content of that index.jsp so i'm going to change the content best software training institute in hyderabad i'm giving the modified content i'm changing my jsp file i'm changing my jsp file i'm changing some code in the git okay commit the changes now what message it should display best software training in hyderabad but what is the message it is displaying best software training best software training best software training institute in hyderabad best software training institute in hyderabad okay i have done the code changes as a developer i have done the code changes as a developer guys when i do the code changes as a developer is that code deployed in the server or my code is not deployed in the server i done the code changes in the github is the latest code deployed in the server latest code is not deployed in the server no actually content should display best software training institute in hyderabad but what is displaying just displaying best software training so my code is not deployed so in order to do the code deployment what should i do now simply can i run my job guys simply can i run my job simply can i run my job build now if i click on build now will it deploy the latest code click on build now i'm running the job okay guys my first build okay build number 2 when i do the build number 2 console output can you see can you see the build is a success can you see the build is success this time downloaded the code from the github it has packaged my project by using maven build success project deployed refresh the url are we able to see the latest code 